Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Sea of Survivors, which you probably already guessed is a pirate-themed horde survival action roguelike. And I'm excited to be checking it out here today. It's coming out next month. There's apparently a demo that's being released today as of this video going out. So let us pop on in and... Yep, I mean, hey. What do you expect? Now, this is wild. Add a ram to the ship. Drop explosive kegs behind the ship. Add saber swingers to the side of your ship. Drag a weapon into the corner. Okay. Do we get all we get all of these? No, we only get one. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. Use a controller, mouse, or keyboard to steer. Gotcha. So you can go where we're pointing, and we can also hold down, it looks like, the left click here to kind of move straight instead. But we can't move back, as you would, uh, you know, probably come to expect here. It is a ship. That would not make a whole lot of sense. Okay, but we have very tiny little uh, swords. And if they make contact with us, we do indeed die. That being said, you know, it's one of those... Uh, one of the ones in the genre where it seems like there's a hell of a lot of meta progression stuff. So, link perks onto weapons in order to empower them. Ship moves faster. Ship turns faster. Take less damage. Okay. I mean, all of these I am interested. I mean, moves faster. I feel like I'm fine. Turn faster could be good. Let's just straight up take less damage. So that's connected to this. I get... Yeah, okay. Just... We do only get one. This is interesting. I, I do wonder if it plays around with that. Like, how much it plays around with that idea, right? Because are we going to be get... You know, maybe get things that do certain buffs if they're by a weapon or yada yada? Connected, there we go. Connected weapons crit more often, take less damage. Connected weapons do more damage. So by having this here, I've kind of stopped myself from being able to... Mm, well, but if you run a connection, if I put a weapon here and then I connect it, like, here, and then I put a couple other perks there, will that count as a full connection? Maybe. I'll put it right here. We'll, we'll see. We'll run a, a connection down this way. And whether or not that will count as connected or it needs to be adjacent. That I don't know. It's a neat looking... You know, it's a different take on it at the very least. It looks interesting. I'm curious to see how that'll exactly go. Okay. I mean, it is doing more damage. Connected weapons, crits do more damage. Increase max health, connected weapons do more damage. Can I, like... Okay, I can double that up. Gotcha. Okay, so we're taking a hit there. It is... This weapon is so tiny. Trying to uh, make sure we can hit guys without getting hit ourselves with this thing is... It's pretty finicky. But... It seems relatively effective. Who... Okay, drive by. I'll say it does look like we don't have to... No, we do have to pick up money to level up. It's just really tiny. Saber Swingers with Lifesteal. Add a ram to the ship. You know what? I'll get Lifesteal. That sounds nice. I wonder if that is always the option for these sabers or, or what. But if we can, like... Just straight up heal up off these. That sounds pretty nice. We're at full health, just like that. All right, I love them. It's official. I love them now. Take even less damage. Ship moves faster. Connected weapon does more damage. I'm going for it. Like, if they're going to be near my swords, they need to die. And they need to die fast. Okay. Thread the needle. Okay, I definitely am seeing a strong value in turning faster. <laughs> Holy crap. When the player gets hit, all weapons fire. I mean, I don't think that these weapons can fire. I think that that's kind of just... They're just always going, is my guess. But yeah, I think that there is like a little bit of gold, but it's... Whoa. Really tough to see. Ship moves faster. Does this count as connection? It does. Right? Like... It does indeed. Okay. So this is a connection. It does not have to be adjacent. So moving this down here. I do kind of like that idea. 
How much less damage do we take? An extra 10 armor. Hmm. I don't know exactly what that equates to, you know? Like, what... What 10 armor is, is ambiguous. I'm getting so many levels. Max health up. Connect weapons crit more often. Crits do more damage. I'll get a max health up. I, I'm curious. Okay, it, it bumps it up by 100, and we have 500 at the start, so that's one more little chunk. That kind of seems like a big deal, but... I'm going to go with more often, will we crit? I do like that kind of connection system, though. God, it's like there's more leveling up than there is gameplay. <laughs> okay, crit more often. Crits do more damage. I think, how much more damage does it do? 200% as opposed to what? Oh, that's critical. Oh, wait, never mind. This is just straight up more damage. So we can't connect it again like that, but we can connect a new one. We can start a whole new chunk. Which, I actually don't hate the idea of just having all of my hits do more damage, and then we'll connect it to one here. When we inevitably get another weapon, which maybe that's what that is. That oh, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> um, sure, more damage. We'll move towards the arrow, which is that just... Yeah, it's just this. Okay. Oh, boy. We gotta get close, but not too close. Get wrecked? This has got to be a weapon. Doubles the effect of adjacent upgrades. Okay, see, that makes me really interested. Increase the damage of connected weapons permanently on level up. Heal for every 50 enemies sunk. Sure. For every level up? This seems relatively early on, maybe. So, and we level up every two seconds, so that's, we're going to be busted, man. I really want the extra turn. I want to turn faster, but that's not, I'm not getting offered that one again. Ow. Ow. Okay. No good. That man has got a little sword on his boat. I'm going to get some max health after uh, that brief smack in there. A little bit of a faster boat wouldn't be too bad, either. Okay, uh-oh. We're getting cornered in. Move faster. <sighs> Fine. Oh, that, 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 that does help. Oh, boy. It's a bomb boat. Back it up, back it up. Turns faster. There we go. It's pretty noteworthy. Yeah, the uh, the gold on the ground is really tiny and hard to see. Get out of there. Is that a temp HP up? Just like a heal, or is that a max HP? Turns even faster. I'll tell you what, yeah. With this weapon, I think that that's going to be a useful tool. I almost think I'm turning a little bit too fast until we need to make a circle. Then it's... Then it's not the case. Okay, let's make sure we do run by all these. And get back up towards that health and all the tiny little gold that you barely see. Max HP? Nope. It was just health. I'm accustomed to, like, the white border around health being max HP for some reason, I guess. Uh-oh. Turn even faster, please, please, please. Connect weapons do even more damage. Crits do more damage. I guess I'll just take less damage, because we're about to take damage, I think. We would if we didn't level up. Oh, those guys are swimming to get me. All right. Good God, the gold is so tiny. I can't believe he didn't pick up that gold. I can't believe you can see the gold. All right, sure, 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 sure. We can turn faster. Should we? We'll do a little bit more turn fast. I mean, we got maximum turn fast on one upgrade here. It's just because of, like, how much that we can completely kite and bait out enemies with a pretty easy turn. 
I wish I had an upgrade that made my dang weapons a little bit bigger. Okay, circle. Uh-oh. Uh, sharks? Uh, sharks? Can I kill them? Do I want to kill them? It's a... They're kind of just minding their own business. Just like real sharks. Okay. Ow. I expect demise sometime pretty soon here. Ow. Trying to... Trying to get these tiny little kills. Uh-oh. Yep. Kind of... Yep, yep. Kind of see disaster coming our way here. Come on, lifesteal. Oh, it is getting bad. It is so darn clumpy. Okay. It's like a freaking blender. We stopped leveling up. We really stopped leveling up. I'm dead here in a sec. Oh, baby. Crits do more damage. Can I get another... How do I get another weapon? Do I have to, like, go really far away or something? Do I have one of these working already? Yep. I I have no idea what I hit there. Must have been the shark. Okay. Need to run by... Oh my god. Freaking blender. Can I get through? Nope. Got so many bombs. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Chain react. Gonna put, put all those people in another blender, increase your max health. Yes, after that. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many bombs. Ooh, look at all that money. Ship moves faster after that. Yeah, absolutely. Get all the money, get all the money. So this, the money is, I guess, the just the meta currency. It's not experience. I do kind of like that. Okay. I'll get up there. I kind of want to get that bomb. Oh, no, 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 no. Move faster. Less damage. I guess... Oh, God. You gotta be careful, because we do have a limited amount of space. Got, like, the merchant ship here. Uh-oh. Oh, I saw that coming. I'm gonna die going for that merchant ship. I really wanted it, but... I My range is, like, two feet in front of me. Let's just go get all that money before we die. Let's make sure we do that. We'll get all this meta progression stuff. And then kick the bucket. Like, I'd like to run by that guy, but... We'll see. Oh god. Oh god. It's so finicky with the mouse, man! Okay, maybe we can... I mean, I'm, a, I'm doing fine. I'm alive. Oh, and now we're back to sharks, though. Okay, good. What do we got? Move faster when traveling up. Fire rate of connected weapons for each missing health. Is there a fire rate on my weapons? Connected weapons light enemies on fire on hit. I mean, that just sounds fun. Alright. It might mean less lifesteal, but it also should mean more damage. I lit that shark... How do I- how do you light a shark on fire? Fire? How do you light a shark on fire? We're in the ocean! I guess I haven't seen Jaws in a while. I feel like that happens in Jaws. Okay, the sharks do contact damage with their tail. I'm not a shark expert, but that is notably not one of the scarier parts of a shark, so it's kind of funny to see. <laughs> it's so brutal. That is so brutal. <laughs> what the hell is happening there? Okay. 
Is that like bomb ship a boss? I don't know. I'm gonna get hit by that shark, that's okay. That's a boss. Oh God. Oh, this is not working. When they bounce back, it's actually, it causes problems for us here. Take less damage, turn faster. If we like continue to just straight up take less damage, we can just run by people and life steal. Okay. I don't know why I did about a million damage to you there, but I'm not complaining. Thanks. Back to full we go. Oh god. Alright, get out of there. Get out of there. Chopper, 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 chopper. Chopa. There we go. Oh! Oh, the spiral is closing. I feel like I just need like a cannonball, you know? Like something that simple sounds really nice. I feel like I'm surfing. Uh-oh. Okay, these are these are much bigger problems. These guys are more annoying. But I also feel like I'm not going to say I'm unkillable, but like I'm definitely not. Yet, yeah, oh, these guys are way more annoying. And I'm not that fast anymore. It seems like the enemies might be getting a little bit faster as time goes on. I can't, I can't do my normal spin around them. All right, let's farm health. Uh, give me a weapon, dude. Even tank here. Yeah, I can't, I can't uh, kite around them that well. I need to hit them with, like, my little back flipper sword there. Okay. Yeah. It's tough. It, it's tough. I, I definitely do need to go faster, right? Yeah. I'm... I'm... These guys are not my jam. Subs? Submarines. Not promising. Go straight. Just need to get catch him with a corner and then go straight. Not like that. Turn too fast. No, uh, no, 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 no. I need another level up and I need to get faster. Dude. Oh my god, I hate these guys. I'm. This is so claustrophobic right now. I'm dead. Maybe for real. Is that a sub? Yep, that's where the subs are. Could try and run past the subs and kill them. Maybe that'd be helpful. I'm, uh, I'm... I'm alive. I can't. How am I living? How the hell am I living? The subs do seem easier, but yeah, I didn't get like any level ups in that amount of time. That's not good for us. Faster. Turn, I don't want to turn faster. I don't want to turn faster. I want to just go faster. I turn fast enough. Oh, boy. That ain't good. Hmm. How do I get another weapon? Like, how the hell do I actually just get another weapon? There's got to be a way. Maybe it's really far away from us or something. Okay. Woo! Chopper, chopper, chopper. Watch out. Oh, there's a big old health thing over there. There's a trail of destruction and money. Uh oh. I can't get to it. Alright, if we're going down, let's get that money. I don't, I don't know if we actually are. But it's looking finally like this may be the day. Yep. Is the day. Interesting. Like the game wishlist. I mean, I, I hate when it does it like that. I want to know, is there a way can I get more unlocks? How do I get another weapon?
Okay. Connected weapon. So this is an unlock. So fortitude, resilience, these are already things. Connect weapons, do more damage. Connect weapons, fire faster. Shoot more projectiles. Okay, so... Hmm. We don't have enough to get either of these. So this, like, just makes that work even... <laughs> Ship moves faster, plus one. Okay. I'm curious. I, I don't know exactly how that's gonna work, but I guess I'll just grab one of everything. It's kind of an efficient way of doing it. I'll get ship moves faster. We'll set sail. Give me a... Sabers. Add spinning anchors to the side of your ship. Drop explosive kegs behind the ship. I want to try a, a projectile. I was hoping to get like a... Um... Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know about this. It's so slow. It is exceptionally slow. And it blows up on its own, too, so if you don't hit something with it. This is a weird one, man. We're gonna need that fire rate upgrade that we didn't want on the other... The other run. Thank you. Fire faster, sounds good. So when, when we got the upgrade for the sword... Was there... I can't remember. Was there another option for a different weapon instead, I guess? So it's like you're picking between a super upgrade and whatever. But there's four slots. There are four slots. So. Yep. Fire even faster. I, it, it just fires so slow at a base that I just can't... It's not... It just doesn't really function. So when you do this, you just run in a line for a bit. Oh, God. We can't do that too much because you'll just get too far away from the enemies. Heal for every 50 enemies sunk. So this is just in here? Okay. I do want extra fire rate and everything like that and movement speed. All, all that jazz, we do want it. Ooh. Certainly are going to need speed. Speed and turn speed to outrun these jabronis. Drop one right in the middle there. Drop it and run. Does pretty good damage, at least. Yeah, I don't know. Is there... There's got to be more upgrades than this, right? I mean, if there's not now, maybe there will be in, like, the... The full version that comes out later. Because I guess I'm playing, like, a... I am playing the demo version, it looks like. Oh! Spawn whirlpools that damage enemies and the player. I, I want a cannon, for the love of God. And we'll need to connect these. Oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah, the cannon sounds... I'm excited for it. Alright, let's go up here. We're gonna have problems with the, uh, the barrels. Oh, well. Here we go. Drive them up into it. If we keep on running too far, like, the issue is that they have an explosive timer on their own as well. That is really pretty short. Ooh, we got another one. Connect weapons, projectiles, travel further and faster. Let's do another, another connect there. I want to get, uh, I want to get them to connect together there. It's going to be a big deal. All right. Oh, yep, yep, yep. It's definitely getting the benefit. Good to know. Get those guys out of here. I'd like some actual... Okay, what the hell? Okay, what the hell? Connect the weapons. Bounce more. Bigger barrels. Why are we getting so many options now? Like, why are we getting another one already? <laughs> And why didn't I get more last time? Oh, well. Bounce more. Okay, that barrel bouncing is wacky, and I love it. 
Turns faster. Crits do more damage. I'll, I'll get a fire faster at this point. I don't know that we're going to need to worry about, like, space economy on that upgrade screen or not. I just want, like, raw damage at this point for him. Crit more often is kind of like a raw damage in a way. All right. Where's the man? Turns faster. Take less damage. I want to move fast. I want move faster right now. Move faster and more damage are two things that I'm really wanting. That barrel better not be able to blow me up. Okay, here comes the levels. There we go. Connect to weapons, do more damage. Sounds lovely. I, it says that they are going to... They bounce more, but I'm not noticing any bouncing. Cannonball shrapnel on hit. Spinning anchors to the side of your ship. I'll get some shrapnel. Ooh. That man. That merchant. Get the merchant. Turns faster. Crit more often. I'll, I'll keep, I'm going to keep going for fire rate on that one. I need to get in there. So much gold left around. It's just like, it's so freaking small. I see it with my perfect eyes. Okay. I guess we'll slowly start to move towards that corner up there. Go, 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 go. All righty. Knock back nearby enemies when you haven't turned for a second. That's kind of fun. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool upgrade. I like that. Bounce more. Okay, so the barrels can't bounce. This can bounce. There's the anchor. Yeah, we're getting so many now. Just gonna connect this. Okay, I'm. So oh, there we go. I see the bounce. I see the bounce. Ooh, boy. I do miss my healing capabilities baked into my weapon, but this is an innately safer style of weapon. Oh, that was not gonna work. A little bit faster turn would be would be good. But yeah, the speed is like the... Uh-oh. Maybe I do get a ram. Okay. Connect to weapons, do more damage. So is this like... It makes that do eight more. If I start trying to connect it down here, it does eight more. If I don't feel like I'm going to fill up the whole board, I might as well run this line down to connect here. And then we fill these up in afterwards, technically, right? Like, technically, that's the way to go. Oh, God. Woo, boy. Push him. There we go. Go straight. Push him. Oh, God. Some health back in there. I do like the, the pushback thing. I think that's a cool one. Ship moves faster. Again, start connecting. Oh, God. Those men swimming into a bomb. Stop turning. Alrighty. Good, good, good. Sharks back to sharks. Okay. Oh, the sharks are quite rough. Drop the bomb. This man ate my bomb. Oh. Can I just avoid hurting the sharks? I feel like I don't I don't feel like I don't need to do that. Okay. 
Travel further, faster, ship turns faster, connect to weapons, do more damage. Sure, there we go. So now if we get another weapon, we're good to go on that. Yeah, shoot. So now we can just start filling up the ones that we've already got. Ugh. Throw the needle there. Alrighty. Should I grab all this money? Do I really care? I mean, I'm not going to be doing another run of this right, like, immediately after, so I don't particularly care knowing it's just meta currency. Increase max health. Connect to weapons, do more damage. Crits do more damage. Just give me, yeah, straight up more damage. Sounds good. But yeah, when we get enclosed like this, we don't really have an answer. Run, run past them, going straight. Oh, never mind, shark. Never mind, circle. Yeah. We don't have an answer for that situation, except don't get in it in the first place. Bombs. Bomb, bombs, bombs. This circle we can deal with a little bit better if it is just blow up, boys. I want to just see for a second what applies. Nothing. Anything apply to this? Uh, amounts, bounce, no, yeah. It feels like there's not another weapon in the game where the, uh, the projectiles bouncing does anything. I have, I have a ram on the front of my ship now. Now we have an answer. Oh God. We could just perpetually, uh, drive the ship up, like, north if we get that upgrade. We can just keep going north. I want to ram him. You, sir. What the hell? Is that my bomb or somebody else's bomb? They kind of look the same. This definitely feels like a stronger, like, set of weaponry. I mean, probably the fact that I got, like, a million of them. Ship turns faster does sound really good, though. I don't think I really got that going on. It turning faster means we can adjust quicker and go back to running straight in a line. When player gets hit, all weapons fire. If only one weapon is connected, double its projectile. Oh, that's cool. Do increase the damage of the connected weapons by a fraction of the ship's speed. Eh. It's... I can only imagine... Wait, actually, I think it went up by 12 damage. Weren't we doing 120? Could've sworn. Uh oh, oh, I was just gonna try and ram him. Just go. You're going down, buddy. So yeah, we're invincible in the front. That is a really nice way to get an answer to circles. You know, like enclosures. Good. Turns faster, crit more often. I really, I really like the fire rate. I don't know if it has any kind of, like, diminishing returns on it or anything, but... The ram is super nice. Like... Oh, I absolutely got screwed over on my first run with how many things they gave me. You kidding me, man? I got the one and then I could upgrade it. I didn't realize that... <laughs> it was basically making my only choice for the run for weapons. Oh, that's not my bomb. That's not my bomb. Okay. Fire faster, do more damage, more health. I could. I'm still rocking the same kind of survivability, so the second we run into something that's spooky for us, we're gonna explode. Uh-oh. Speaking of something spooky for us, that ah. Charge. Uh-oh. I don't know how we fare against the boss. If we can get alongside him and just keep blasting. It's 
not quite as good as I would have hoped. I kind of need to keep on turning because I don't really want to push him away. Pushing him away is, has been bad so far. Okay. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, no. Ram him. Oh, that is making my life confusing for sure. Cool. Thank God. I've missed so much stuff. I need survivability bad. I lost a lot going for that. The fact that it wasn't a level is crazy. We'll just take less hits. Or take less damage. Nope. Well, that just that just sucks. <laughs> Don't know what else to say about that. So yeah, there's the treasure shipwright. I mean, it's it's one of these, right? Like you just you do this, you you fill it up, you grind it out, you go do do another, you grind it out more. Yeah, yeah, and you you'll know if you like that style or not. What I will say is, it does feel like um feels like there should be a couple more of these basic upgrades. Or you should be getting more of those other upgrades because it's very often just, you, you know, you're picking between three really basic stats. And I think that that's kind of the biggest thing right now that feels like a bummer. And there's not a ton of different weapons, too. So I think that that could be because it's the demo. But seeing as these are all of the upgrades that you find in the game as well, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. I never saw this one, but maybe we have to buy it in order to see it for the first time. But... I don't think so, because we also saw this one. I don't know. There's some there's some interesting things here. I think that the um, my favorite thing about the game is like kind of the web upgrade system. I do think it's kind of a nice way of doing the horde survival upgrade system. I think it's kind of nice. I think leaning into it more would do the game justice. Like the things where is adjacent upgrades have this like double the effect of adjacent upgrades. That poses some really interesting drafting decisions or the ones where it's like, if there are no upgrades connected to this, then it gets double bullets. Or if it's the only one uh, connected to this, it gets double bullets. That's very interesting. I think playing around with that concept could be very, very cool. And I hope they go very deep into that because that's what's shining about this. Otherwise, it's just like, you know, it's another grind it, grind it, meta treadmill uh, horde survival game, right? You know, you'll either be happy to see another one or you'll be sick of seeing another one. I'm kind of, you know, a little bit closer towards that second side, but I think this one's at least doing some cool things with the upgrade system that could get cooler when the full game is out. So I don't know how much of that is just because it's a demo and how much of that is um, how it's going to be. So take it with a grain of salt if you want it to be uh, going deeper on those or not. I can't say that it will, but I hope that it does, because there could be a really cool system here. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Sea of Survivors. My name is Retromation, covering any games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.